In this video, we can discuss about production of enzyme lipase. So what is lipase? Lipase or it is also known as triazyl glycerol lipase is a glycoprotein and a very non-specific enzyme which will catalyze the breakdown of most triglyceride into fatty acids and glycerol. And this breakdown of triglyceride into fatty acid and glycerol is lipolysis. So enzyme responsible or enzyme catalyzing lipolysis is known as lipase. It have a broad range of reaction known as bioconversion reaction like esterification, acidolysis, interesterification, aminolysis, etc. Lipase enzyme naturally occur in the pancreatic juice and stomach of human body. The correct gallbladder function is also maintained by enzyme lipase. They also control the volume of fat in the body that is synthesized and burned by the reduction of adipose tissue. Lipose can be purified or extracted from the plant, animal, yeast, bacterial and fungal sources. Now coming to the production of lipase enzyme. It is usually done by fermentative process and which involve four steps. First one is selection of suitable microorganism for the lipase. Formulation of culture media for the fermentation process and production process which include the optimum condition like temperature, aeration, pH etc. And finally recovery and purification of enzyme. So let's start with the first step that is the selection of microorganism. The criteria for the selection of microorganism is the capability of microorganism to produce the maximum amount of desirable product like our enzyme lipase and capability to produce minimum amount of unwanted products. And the different sources for sources of microorganism for the production of enzyme lipase are bacterial, fungal and yeast. And some example for bacterial organisms are Pseudomonas originosa, Staphylococcus, Cassilicus, Ceratia rubidae, Bacillus coagulans, Bacillus subtilis, etc. Now some example for or source of microorganism from fungal organism are Rhizobus aureus, Rhizobus niger, Penicillium citrinum, Penicillium rustricum. Candida utilities, etc. And some example for source of microorganism from yeast are Candida cylindrica, which is the most commonly used microorganism for the production of lipase. Now, coming to the specific uh, microorganism, this is the most commonly used microorganism for the production of lipase, Candida cylindrica or cylindraceae. And uh, it can be maintained, the microorganism Candida cylindraceae can be maintained by growing in yeast agar media which is maintained at 4 degrees Celsius. And from this microorganism, we can prepare the inoculation by uh, transfer of a loop full of fresh growth into a uh, flask. And this flask is incubated at 30 degrees Celsius and on a rotary shaker at 200 rpm for 36 hours to prepare the inoculum. And this prepared inoculum is used for the second uh, or, or for the production process. Now coming to the second step that is the formulation of the media. As we mentioned before, the media should contain all the required nutrients which is essential for the production of respective enzyme and the media or composition of inoculation and production media which are required for the production of lipase enzyme by using Candida cylindraceae are sodium sorry potassium hydrogen phosphate 6 gram per liter, magnesium sulphate 1 gram, urea uh, 
and uh, uh, FeCl2, inositol, thiamine hydrochloride, biotin, glucose and finally this is made up to 100 ml and this is uh, prepared and autoclaved at 121 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes before using for the production media. So the media which is used for the inoculation as well as production process is same except the source of uh, uh, source of the carbon source because in production media we will use palm oil as the carbon source and in inoculation media we will use glucose as the uh, we will use glucose as the carbon source now coming to the third step the production process the media used for the preparing inoculum is same as that of the production media except there is only one difference in the use of glucose as the carbon source palm oil is used as a carbon source in case of production media and this palm oil is not used in inoculation media and usually 50 gram of sterile palm oil in storage which is uh, in storage bottle was transferred aseptically using peristaltic pump to sterilize the medium in the fermenter usually 10 percentage of the working volume uh, is used as the inoculation inoculum will be 10 percentage of the work, um, working volume and this was transferred aseptically by Bunsen burning the Bunsen around the septum port and the sample of 50 ml were withdrawn aseptically at regular time interval for the analysis and this is usually performed in a uh, culture vessel with a working volume of 5 liter which is equipped with the jacket for the closed temperature system uh, closed thermostat system and the production process is carried out by fermentation at a temperature of 30 degrees celsius and ph of 6 with an aeration of 1 volume per, per minute and uh, at a speed of 500 rpm and if required we have to adjust the pH by using 3 normal NOH or 3 normal sulfuric acid and exhaust gas was were removed through the exit gas filter stream at the top of the fermenter and exhaust gas line was connected to an offline oxygen carbon dioxide monitoring unit to measure its composition. Now finally uh, uh, the common characteristic is the use of lipid in the uh, preparation of lipase enzyme. We will use lipid uh, such as triglyceride and fatty acid which is usually uh, joined with the glucose which is used as a carbon source as well as an inducer for the production of lipase. So this is the normal procedure or normal method of preparation of lipase. But sometime we can you also use some another condition like temperature of 25 to 50 degrees Celsius and pH range of 5.5 to 8 and agitation speed of 250 to 1500 rpm and uh, which is according to the type of microorganism and culture media which is used for the preparation of lipase enzyme. So this is the conventional method we can also alt, uh, change the condition of uh, production process according to the microorganism and the culture media used. Now after the uh, fermentation process we have to recover and purify the uh, lipase enzyme and this can be done by uh, lysis and thereby by removing debris by filtration and centrifugation and uh, removal of nucleic acid by precipitation by adding polycations like polyamine and streptomycin and polyethylamine. So after fermentation the precipitated with uh, ammonium sulphate or uh, 40 to 60 percentage saturation after the dialysis and ultrafiltration the concentrated sample containing lipos isoform was applied on Cephadex G20 column and eluted with the 0.1 molar tris hydrochloride buffer with the fluoride was maintained at 60, 60 milliliter per hour for the remo uh, extraction or separation of the lipase enzyme. So that is the recovery and purification and enzyme for the production of uh, enzyme lipase. Now coming to the applications of lipase. Uh, what are the uses of lipase? It is mainly used for the fat and oil processing because by using lipase we can convert 
inexpensive and less needed lipid into great value fats. And another use is in food industry. Lipase is used in flavor development as well as cheese ripening. And lipase also used as a detergent which is used in the laundry because uh, which become more popular due to the wide use of washing machine and uh, uh, resilient in, uh, in fabrics and softness producers and as well as anti-staticness. Then also use it as an oleochemical industry. Immobilized lipase enzyme is used in oleochemical industry to initiate the different reaction like alcoholysis, glycerolysis and hydrolysis. And uh, lipase also have some application in cosmetics and perfumery because uh, this is lipase is used in the production of aroma. So it have a great uh, potential in perfumery as well as cosmetics. And lipose treated substances as well as vitamin A which is uh, a retinoid which can be used in different pharmaceutical as well as cosmetic products uh, for the skin care. And lipase also have some application in medical field like polysaturated fatty acid is used as a pharmaceutical, nutraceuticals and food additives and lipase is also used in baking industry to break the polar wheat lipid for different uh, uh, baking of different products like uh, bread etc. And it is also used in textile industry in conjugation with some, uh, some enzyme like uh, amylase used in desizing the textile industry in process of to remove adhesive lubricants from the wrap thread and that help highly absorbency uh, levelness in the dryness dyeing. So these are the application or uses of lipase. So that is all about the lipase introduction, production and applications. Hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.